Hello everyone. So we open the blender and this is the first thing we see default camera light and cube. So let's delete the cube. Press delete. Go to front view and I want um, I want to make a floor so shift a mesh and plane so we'll make a little big plane for the scale press s and make it little big now i think it's fine go to edit mode press tab and do for the edge mode select the edge for the extrude press E and Z will extrude at the Z axis yes now we can see our plane and the backward so we will add the cylinder shift A mesh and cylinder now i want the geometry on the top and bottom face so we'll do the cap file type to the triangle fan and let's press so now you can see the geometry here so now go to front view and let's make it small so we'll scale to the zx as z and drag it and make it small yes now it's correct okay now now we'll add the bevel modifier so bevel and we'll select the 0 0.05 and the three segments let's see by shade smooth here also we need to add geometry so select the cylinder and now control r and we'll add here and one here so now it looks good now let's add one more modifier shade smooth subdivision surface so it is nice fine let's move i want it the vertical so let's rotate it r x 90 at 90 degree front we'll make it scale it all over the scale it big to see go to wireframe z wireframe yes it is i think uh, correct z solid mode and let's move it back and we need some space between this wall and the cylinder now select the cylinder shift d and move go to wireframe z wireframe let's make it little down and this will be little bit here okay I feel I want to move this little move. Okay, now fine. Go to top mode, and the place is correct. Again, front view. Shift D. This and make small. We'll move it to front of that. 
We'll make a little space between two cylinders. Go to front view. And now let's go to wireframe, Z wireframe. And place the cylinder. Let's check. Now it is how I want. Okay. Yes, I want this way only. Now I feel the background is little small, so let's select it and scale. So we'll not scale the whole thing, we'll scale it to x axis. So S, X, and make it big. And for the Z, X also, S. Z and to ZX correct now okay. now we'll add one cube shift A mesh and cube to front view we'll scale it to axis S X we want the theme bar kind of thing and now S Y yes we want more little S Y we want bar something move up yes now we'll make scale big to Z axis S Z. Yeah, it's little more, so make it small. Correct now. Now let's move it back. Here. Now select the bar and we'll apply the array modifier array and We'll make the count 5, 2, 4, 5 and we'll increase the space between this bars. We'll make it 3. So let's see. I think it's perfect now. Okay. Now we'll duplicate this cylinder. Shift D and rotate it to X axis R X nine zero. Z wireframe. little small okay fine now let's duplicate this again shift D move it here back make it small Let's go to top view. Okay. Now we'll make this one's height more. So for that, tab A and we'll go to wireframe, front view, select the top vertices and 
make it little big yes yes i think this is perfect and let's duplicate this shift d move up g z front view and this one sorry we'll duplicate this shift d and move to here we'll make it little big Shift D will duplicate and up. Go to edit mode and go to wireframe Z wireframe. Select top and we'll make it very thin. Solid mode. Correct now. Now let's arrange the scene. For that we'll create the new collection. Right click new collection and we'll give the name geometry. Move the cylinder here in the geometry. This two also all here and the cube also so this is the geometry now i want to set up the camera already we have one camera here this here so do not need to add any camera so let's press here and definitely we don't want this view so, so if we rotate the viewport it will change the camera also so to fix that we'll lock the viewport so for that press n go to view and check the camera to view so now you can easily move the viewport so now let's set whatever we view we want so uh, we want exactly the front Now we want this view and now again press N and now make sure to uncheck this camera to view because sometimes you need to move around and it will change the camera. So by uncheck this you will actually lock the camera so now we are moving these and again press the zero so it will 
at our camera view only now we will change the aspect ratio so for that go to output properties and we'll change the x to 1650 and again press n and camera to view and we'll adjust here um, i think i need to make this little big so select this and drag up press zero and i think this is correct now we may add the lights so first of all we material view we we'll go here and we'll check this scene lights and scene word and hide this light we no need of light we can delete that also now let's add a light shift a light and area light so go to the light tab make the power 200 and we'll shift it to right side okay we'll rotate it to the center the size bigger so press s and drag we'll move the light back sorry gx and little forward gy and little rotate the same light shift d and move to the left and rotate it to the center we'll make the power little low so we'll make 150 watt of this and we'll move it to forward so g y Okay. Now let's copy one more. Shift D and we move it to here. On the top. see the shadow one by one let's turn off all the lights this is the right 
we'll move it little forward g y okay hide this and this is the left i think this is correct and this is the top this lights in a new collection right click new collection and lights now it's correct now for the shadow we'll turn off the left light shadow i don't want that and the top light shadow also so this is the correct now we'll apply the color material so first of all select this so add the material new and the right floor and I save the uh, select the base color and hex control V this now this one new circle one this will be will be 0 0.1 and roughness is 0 0.3 the same color will give here so call one now this one Again, zero point one and roughness zero point three for this one. For this metallic is zero point four and roughness is zero point two. Now we'll select all this by pressing shift select sit, and last one this and control l and materials so we'll apply all materials to it so now select this one and this is a gold color so it's a gold this one metallic is 0 0.7 and roughness is 0 0.2 now let's turn off all these
this now we'll render this so go to render and render image so now we'll come back after render our image is uh, rendered now so now you can see too much noise here so we'll add denoise so for that let's close this render view now go to compositing tab click on use notes notes so it will show the notes so if press v it will make small now we can see noise here so we'll remove that so for that we will add one shift a filter and denoise so add here this one see here so now you can see noise is not there let's remove now let's save the file press f11 this is the render view raw render so go to image and save is we will save it as a raw render and and if you pay press viewer node we'll see the denoised view so now image save as final render 